Good evening and welcome to episode 326 of the Private Property Podcast. I'm your host, Uzaman Dunga Kumalo. It's the Wednesday edition of the Private Property Podcast. If you join us for the first time, welcome to the only daily property show in South Africa that helps you on all things relating to property. Make sure that you go to our Facebook or our YouTube page to catch up on all the great content that you have already missed out on. And to all our regular viewers on Facebook and Instagram, as well as on YouTube, welcome to it. You know how we do. Every single weekday, you and I have an appointment at 7 p.m. where we tackle a hot property topic with expert guests who help us make better property decisions. And talking about making better property decisions, you know, you can also catch a whole host of other incredible shows across private properties' social media pages. As it is a Wednesday this evening, you can catch SD Clarkson on the first time home by show which is always in conversation with people who've not only walked that first time home buying journey but have gone on to grow their property portfolio from strength to strength and if tuesdays and thursdays you can catch a warning farmer on the farming podcast which always helps us with all things relating to agriculture so whether you want to start your own veggie garden at home which i am doing as many of you who follow me on social media would have seen or of course exploring going into you know, commercial commercial farming and having a better understanding of what lies ahead. That is a show that you want to make sure you tune into. And every Mondays and Fridays, Chad brings us the Home Shoppers Show, where he takes us through exquisite homes that you can find on www.privateproperty.co.za. And of course, that is every Mondays and Fridays at 8 p.m. Those are the great shows that you can tune into every single weekday at 8 p.m. So make sure you set those alarms and catch up on all your favorite property shows. Well, this evening, I'm quite excited. Before I even talk about what you can expect on the show, you also know that on our Facebook page, we are running an incredible competition uh, that had three parts to it. You've already met the one part, and we're so excited. Remember, that first part was us wanting to reach 1 million followers or likes on our Facebook page. And last week, you made it possible. Uh, we've exceeded that 1 million mark. And the last two bits is we've shared this on, uh, we've pinned it on our Facebook uh, page. That is, of course, we want to get 10,000 comments on that post as well as 10,000 shares. We're just over the halfway mark with both. So I know that you at home can can make it possible. We want to reach those 10,000 comments and, of course, those 10,000 shares. So do make sure that you continue sharing and engaging. And, of course, you stand a chance of walking away with 500 rands in cash. Uh, should you be 
called. And one of the big things about that competition, you have to be watching us live so that you can claim your prize. The money bag this evening, because we didn't have a winner yesterday, uh, is an accident of 1,500 this evening. So 1,500 rands is up for grabs. We're going to be announcing who the lucky winner is halfway through the show. If you call your name, make sure that you drop us a message down here below so that we can uh, make sure that you get your money. Remember, if you know that you participated, you want to uh, claim this prize. I love giving away money. You've probably seen this. We're doing it every day now uh, and definitely want to give away this money that's in the money bag. Well, that's some of what you can expect on our social media pages. I'm also later on on the show going to share some of the great reasons that you've given us on Facebook of why you love private property. We love hearing from you and absolutely love going through some of these great reasons. I'm going to be sharing with that with you later on on the show. But to get us started with our conversation, I have um, on the line, uh, certainly with us this evening, who is the founder and owner at LK Homes. And we're going to be looking DIY trends to look out for this spring. So I know, look, good evening and thank you so much for joining us on the show. Good evening, Zamatunga. Thank you for having me. It's always such a pleasure. You know, every time you come on here and every time there's uh, somebody that shares the same surname as me, I always have to put that disclaimer that we're not related. Uh, although somewhere down the line, we're all related. <laughs> so people mustn't think there's, you know, a bit of, you know, nepotism uh, in the mix. But I must say, Jean is one of my favorite, favorite DIYers. I love uh, you know, her stuff on Instagram. So do check it out, LK Homes uh, on Instagram. And we've even shared the links down here below. Her work is absolutely amazing. She actually makes me wish I, I love DIY as much as she does. You know, I, I like it, but my like is very mild. Like it's, it's, it's mild. <laughs> Yeah, she she is just like the big deal um, when it comes to DIY work. And obviously, then the best person that we can speak to about this. I think, you know, before we even look at some of the trends that uh, we can expect and can probably even plan for, for, you know, for spring, I think let's just dispel the the, the thing with DIY that that it's difficult that um, you absolutely just need a an expert instead of trying to do it yourself because it can be such an intimidating thing. I think I know some projects have intimidated me in the past, and it took a while to kind of warm up to you know some of the work, and now I'm able to sort of just do it seamlessly. So how do we first just kind of dispel the myth that it's all difficult? You're just going to struggle. Rather just get you know a, a professional to do everything even the small things that you'd probably be able to do at home? I think with DIY, like any skill, you just mm. have to start, but also practice makes perfect. And the more that you do it, the more confidence that you gain. And it's honestly, it's fun. And I think the, the most, the one thing that I love the most with DIY is looking at something in my space. I'm like, I actually thought of that and I made that and now it's there existing in my space. And there's a certain, there's a certain level of pride that comes with creating something of your own. Obviously you're not going to go and build a house the first day, but. <laughs> and you shouldn't. <laughs> and you <laughs> absolutely shouldn't. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, yeah. But I, mean, I would, I, I, I would first start off with like, before we move on to painting, do things like spray painting, and then you take it from there after you've actually gained your confidence. Mm -hmm. And I think that's such a big one, right? That baby steps uh, certainly is something that you need to consider. And it's the same even with you know property or property investment. You're not going to start with investing in, let's say, a commercial mixed-use building um, when you've never, for example, bought your first investment property or then managed a smaller block of flats and then only go, uh, you know, for the 20M building when you've got zero experience. So you, you have to start small, get, get a handle of some of the basics and some of the fundamentals uh, before you go to the next step. So when we then look at some of the trends this spring, because I think later on in the show, we'll definitely look at the kinds of projects that you can do as a beginner so you, you want to try it out a bit uh, and then people who obviously have a little bit of experience what they can potentially consider doing um, for spring but generally when we look at some of the trends that we can look forward to what would you say are some of the key trends that you know people or certainly within the DIY space that we can look forward to for spring so the I think the first few things is the use of color so we are going for much more lighter, warmer tones. 
So white is definitely the girl that she thinks she is. Um, I mean, it just brightens up the space and it really brings in a new life into a space. And I mean, you don't have to go like a Kim Kardashian type of interior and go everything white, but you just see how it really brightens up a space. And so even with the use of natural elements, so we are seeing a lot of wood being used and wherever that you can moving away from more of the metallics then you getting in with more of the natural elements and i mean even with me- with metallics but you go for more like deep grounded metals so those are the kind of trends that we're seeing very light very airy and then but i think the most important thing as well and very important when following trends is to do something that you will love and that you will enjoy in the space and I actually love that you, you, you've pointed that out because I was about to ask you, how do we then choose, um, especially when it comes to trends, what we adopt or certain elements of what we adopt? Because we see trends, especially when it comes to you know, our homes coming in and out of fashion. Uh, I mean, some of the things, for example, in the interior that are in fashion, depending on what kind of homes are even, for example, gamazine walls. Uh, I know that's something that so many people in their homes you know, are doing. Uh, I love that one of the things that we are doing with, for example, our floors is having slightly bigger tiles instead of you know, those small tiles. Uh, we know that it opens up the space a bit more and making sure that even the, the space that we use, you don't use a five millimeter you know, spacing, you actually want uh, either one millimeter or two millimeter uh, so that it looks seamless and just having the same floor everywhere with the same tiling. So those are trends that we, you know, we're already picking up in terms of just how we, we, we do our interior um, and even to a certain degree, certain exterior. So what are some of the best uh, you know, tips that you can certainly share with viewers at home when it comes to choosing what to adopt so that your home also looks modern? Because I think many people, they see the great properties we always share uh, across our social media pages. And I know one of the things is when I look at, you know, especially the feed, whether it's on Instagram, especially on, on Facebook, though, is you get a sense of what's happening in people's homes inside. And when you look at some of the very expensive, you know, homes in this expensive um, estates, I always just take a little bit of what I like there. Uh, I may not be living there just yet, but I'm like, oh, this I can actually, you know, recreate a little bit. So how can we best, uh, you know, take trends that are still speaking to what our personal taste and preference is? I think it is very, it differs from person to person, but I would say mm-hmm. the rule of thumb being the more permanent something is, I would go with more of a timeless piece. Yeah. I mean, even if you can change your tile every season, you don't necessarily want to have to go through the admin of changing your tiles. So for things that are very permanent, like your tile, your bathrooms, your, your permanent fixtures, I would say go for more of a timeless piece. And even with your furniture, so you, maybe your couch and your sofa, go for something that'll go throughout, that'll give you a few years or however long that you would want to keep it. Um, and then really accessorize and change trends with more of things that are very easy. So like your artwork and things like your pillow, I mean, your scatter cushions on your couch and just the accessories on your bed, let's say, and small things like your vase. And these are some of the things that you can either store them away should you want to keep them or then either give, I mean, give them to somebody else or donate or whatever it is. But I would say the more permanent something is, go for more of a timeless piece there. Mm. We are seeing the love on our Facebook page. For those of you who are watching us on Facebook, remember to drop us those green hearts. I also want to know from you at home if you are a DIYer. And if you are, what are some of the projects that you have done so far? Uh, I once did, you know, my own bookshelf, which was really quite fun and quite cool. uh, And I really enjoyed it. And I think it it made me more and more comfortable with using a drill. I'm obsessed with using a drill. Uh, I, I actually want to keep 
a wall far away from me because I just want to drill everything in. Um, so I want to find out from you at home, what are some of the projects that you have DIY'd, um, especially if you are a DIYer? And I see here Ubu Maduna saying, yes, I love DIY homemade decorations. And um, we're also getting some love from Emerentia Padachi, as well as Michelle Bolmerantz, Amohelo Masala, also sending us those green hearts. And of course, Michelle Bolmerantz was one of the winners last week and who was watching us live and claimed her prize. I also see you, um, Kunungo, saying so in formative and uh, I've, we've also got Farana Siddiqui saying I love today's show I'm taking notes for top tips and trends thank you private property and that's some of the love that we're getting on our Facebook page and we're going to get some of the great uh, you know ideas of DIY projects that we can do with Uli Kumalo. Kumalo we're going to go for a quick break we're going to see who the potential winner for tonight's show is and you know I'm only saying potential uh, because you're going to need to message us before the end of off the live in order to claim your prize. Let's see who the winner this evening potentially is. And the winner this evening is Pukarabompo. Karabompo, uh, if you are watching us live, make sure you drop us a text down here below and let us know so you can claim that 1,500 rands. That's how much we have in the money bag. And I'm sure you, you I mean, it's payday also for so many people. This is a nice extra. Like, you know, uh, or, or, or not even the that you didn't have to work very hard uh, to get. So, Karabompo, if you're watching us live, make sure that you drop us a text down here below so we can get you. Uh, this 1,500 rands. Before we get to more of the love that we're getting on social media and some of the great um, comments and and uh, you know questions that you have for us, I want to go through um, just, I'll take one, we'll do the rest later on in the show. Um, of course, on our page, we'll also ask you for why you love private property. You know, the moment we reached 1 million, uh, we certainly have you know more than 1 million reasons uh, why we're happy and we will ask you for your 1 million reason uh, why you love private property and we've got Kellen uh, Avins uh, saying that I love private property for the exquisite property they have available, competitions they have on social media and the weekly podcast that's full of great advice. Thank you very much there Kellen and we're going to keep it coming right. We love getting the feedback and we're absolutely going to keep it coming. Now I think one of the things then is we already know that so many of the viewers at home are DIYs, love DIY, and some are maybe the, the way I was in the beginning. I was like, "Who guys know? I can't. I I just I can't. I don't want to be that person." When we look at beginners um, and and what they can potentially look forward to trying out as as a beginner in, in spring, what are some of the smaller projects would you recommend a beginner who's still, um, you know, either too scared or even too intimidated to pursue DIY? So I would definitely recommend something like either using spray paint or normal paint to repurpose um, an old vase. So let's say you went through a whole brown phase or a red phase where now you just want to make it suited to your space. And there's also this trend has been around for quite a while using adding baking powder or bicarbonate of soda to your paint. And it actually creates this beautiful rough texture. So sometimes you also find that you've got these very big pot pl- I mean, pots that you would put your plant in and you just want to give it like a new fresh. There's also the match trick where you would paint it and then just rub it with some soil on it. And it just gives it this very rustic feeling. And then um, that just adds to your space. So something small like that, and that's not permanent and the risk of, messing it up you can just like oh it's just an old vase and but i mean i think it just gives your old items a new fresh life Mm -mm -mm. and i I like that because i know you've also done it uh like i i follow uh on lk holmes love the projects that she she's done and i think one of the great things with them is you also just be like okay no man i can do that that's not that you know it doesn't look 
too intimidating. Uh, and it's not to say it's automatically easy when I mean, everything requires a bit of work, but you're also thinking, no, this small component, I can work with this. You know, I have that one thing at home that I want to repurpose Nyana a bit. And it's always so useful um, when you think about it. And, you know, especially when you're still looking for that first project to do. Of course, on our social media pages, especially here on Facebook, I'm asking, I want to find out from you at home, if you're a DIYer, uh, if you are, what project have you done? Also, if you're not a DIYer, you know, why are you not? Is it you know too intimidating, or you're just like as in just outsource all of it, all of it, all of it outsource? Uh, we've got Usemi Mashatsa on Facebook saying, "Yes, I'm doing. I do 60% of the stuff DIY when I do renovations at my properties. It saves lots of money, but also you need to know what you're doing, and that's a very big one, right? Knowing what you're doing. There are certain things where you absolutely want to get a professional." But as a year, you can you can get away with uh, doing them yourself. Uh, we've got Umkunu Mo saying, I also love DIY. I once made a table with my mom. I love that. You're already just bonding with ma o mama and you're making something. It's always great you're making stuff with friends and family because it's just, just such a great way um, to bond. And we've got Umenzi Butelezi saying the laminate floors, they hurt my feelings low. I thought I was the one, I was the only one with the drill problem, Summer. I am busy changing my last curtain ring. <laughs> Listen, means you, you're not the only one. I think the big thing that I learned with, you know, with the drill, and I try to stay away with certain things because I'm like, as in, I don't want to damage some of my walls. Uh, and I think it helps when you also own some of the properties because you know you can drill at will. Um, but it, it's one of those things that I quite enjoy. And we're seeing some of the great love on our Facebook page. Haluna Luchman, uh, I see you, you're watching us. And of course, I also see um, who's the, uh, I also see Farana Siddiqui, congratulations, uh, congratulating rather Ukarabo Mpo, who is this evening's winner. We're still waiting for Ukarabo uh, to raise their hand and let us know that they are indeed watching us live. Now, now when we then look at people like your Menzi, um, who, you know, ha, who, who know their way around the drill, even like Kusemi and, and you know, like Upalisa. What are then some of the projects that people will say who are in their intermediate and sometimes even slightly more advanced stages uh, can consider, especially in spring? So, so for more of your intermediate and advanced DIY, you can definitely do projects like a coffee table and... So those things where it's just a nice personalized thing like couch armrests and a bookshelf, as you've mentioned. So you've collected a few books through lockdown and now you just want a lovely place to stack them. There's different ways of how to make um, a bookshelf. So definitely, I think also for me, wood is one of my favorite mediums because I mean, it's just one of those, that's just very easy. Well, let me not say very easy, but it's one of the, mediums that I enjoy working with and there's so many things that you can make I mean I recently made a bench and it's not something it's not a bench that I would sit on but you can use it as a decorative piece in your house so even things like um, hanging floating shelves or hanging your artwork so you make your own artwork and then you use a drill to go hang it up <laughs> so so those are the kind of projects that I would definitely recommend for an advanced DIYer Mm-mm. And and you know only <laughs> from all the loves. I think uh, floating shelves. I love 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 floating shelves because they just they add character in a room. Sometimes you know whether it's your bedroom or your lounge, and you just want to be able to have them. And it could literally be just to put one thing right because you're not trying to stack all your books in a floating shelf. It's for the aesthetic and to just make sure that you put up a few things uh, on your wall. I see some of the love that we're getting. And some of them, you know, it's it's new names that I haven't said on air that I'm absolutely loving. Vanessa now is watching us sending those green hearts. And um, I also see you a uh, whale hip uh, on on uh, on Facebook. And I see that uh, happiness uh, Maluleka saying uh, to Zama Network. I, we fixed my network issues. See, we, we were listening because uh, for those who are probably watching us for the first time, I was complaining about how terrible my network has been. And so we went ahead and we're like, nope, we need to change this because we want to make sure that you're always able to uh, watch us every evening. And of course, hear us well and see my face. I saw 
a few uh, comments for the past two days asking, where am I? Well, I'm back, as promised. Uh, we've also got Nkateko Hapo on Facebook saying, paint work is easier and you can always repaint most stuff to match your color schemes, depending on the latest color trends. Uh, we've also got Nomvula Mutsaneng saying, congratulations to Karabo. Of course, we're still waiting for Ukarabo Mpo to text us. We haven't, unfortunately, heard from them. They still have seven more minutes to get back to us as much as, you know, as quickly as possible to claim that prize. And, you know, so then when we look at holistically some of the things, I, I want to look a little bit in the exterior because I think exterior projects are, uh, I feel are those that you're able to be slightly risky with, uh, you know, and it, it can fail. Uh, it's not too much of a train smash. It's easier to, you know, to work with the failed DIY project outside of the home than it might be inside of the home in terms of ideas of what we could you know, do outside of the house. Uh, you know, what are some of the things that we can look forward to doing to our outside spaces? I think seeing that also, I mean, talking about spring, we are thinking flowers, we are thinking being out in the garden and this is the perfect time to now get our hands dirty and enjoy our exterior. So definitely think about um, outdoor furniture is not the easier, but depending on the skill level, <laughs> uh, this is where we can really just do something. So thinking of outdoor furniture, there's very um, easy ways of just making very simple benches and couch seats and those sort of things. And also looking at planter boxes. And I mean, you can get a terracotta pot and just then paint the outside. And if, if depending how whimsical you are, you can use different colors and then just give your garden or your exterior just a nice added colorful touch. And, but I think also, it's just a matter of also having fun and really concentrating on what you use your space for. I mean, if you're not going to sit outside and do a whole herb garden thing and you're not going to water it, but I mean, if ever you know that you enjoy just sitting outside and having a little place where you can just chill and you can just make a reading nook or whatever it is. So it's just using your space and then making whatever it is that you need there. Mm. Going to more of your comments at home this evening, of course, we are also sharing the one million reasons why you love private property, uh, as you were sharing on our Facebook page. We've got Anelda Everton saying, I love private property because their shows are always informative, interesting, and full of fun. My favorite part of my day is tuning in to the private property podcast. I also love private property because they are caring. Keep up the good work, fam. Absolutely love that, Anelda. Thank you so much. And the last one for this evening, uh, coming from Mohale Mohale saying, I love everything about the live broadcasting because I have learned so much from the last year when I joined you guys here on Facebook. I am young, lazy, looking forward on the future. I now know what to follow and what to do when I want to buy a property. I already have information and so much knowledge. Thank you so much, Private Property, for the knowledge you give us from Monday to Friday. I love you, fam. And I love that, right? And I I think part of the thing with you know, this family is that we love making the, the circle bigger and bigger. And that's why we want to you know, make sure that you guys at home, especially on our Facebook page, share the lives that we have. So more of your friends and family can also join in uh, on the informative sessions that we get to have every single weekday. And uh, we've got Unum Vula uh, saying, fam, I'm telling you, um, Pity was my twin, and you didn't now have and and you didn't give the mula today. I'm here for my sister, and of course she's making reference there to Ukarabompo as we are waiting to see if they're going to claim that money before uh, the end of the broadcast. Now, I mean, Lisa, I think a, a great way that I'd like us to 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 wrap up, and and before we even get to wrapping up, maybe first let's actually look at what we can also do inside of the homes, because I you know I was asking with outside because. Easily, the outside spaces is one of those things that we neglect a lot. Um, I know that even when we're looking at, you know, selling your property, for example, people don't put in as much work in just, just doing the basic gardening. You know, we're not even asking you to bring in a, a landscape, but just your basic gardening. What are some of the, you know, smaller projects that we could potentially do inside our homes, uh, whether it's, you know, the bedroom or perhaps even the lounge um, and even the bathroom? Because I think that's also just a nice way to, to make 
make it and, and give yourself a nice spa treatment um, in the comfort of your home? So looking at things, I think irrespective of the room, one thing that I love is framed art pieces. So, I mean, a lot of home stores sell these big frames where you can change the print inside. And that gives you the freedom to, depending on the mood that you're in, the season that you're in and your style, you can then just chop and change those art pieces. And another great thing is actually make your own art. So be it abstract, be it a real painting of something. And I mean, if you live with a significant other, this could be a date night, an indoor date night thing where you guys create your own art and hang it in your house. And it's just a nice story to have in your home where whoever comes and visits, you guys say, we made the artwork. And so for things like that and looking at for like scatter cushions, you can also make your own where you don't have to sew by using textile glue. So you just get pieces of material and so, I mean, you can just buy um, cushion inserts from any homeware store and then just make your own. That There's a lot of YouTube tutorials on how to make cushion covers without having to sew anything or get a zip. So definitely mm. things like that. And also the one, I love paint. So for something like a feature wall, let's say an entryway or you have a, that specific wall that you just want to give a bit of life and character. And I mean, you can get away with like one liter or two liters of paint, which over time is not really expensive. And depending on the mood and the season, you can change it too. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I know that Rufronolo is recommending all kinds of different projects that we can do in our house. Uh, some may seem even intimidating. She has an amazing YouTube channel herself where she takes us through some of the great projects that, you know, she does and obviously always just makes it look so easy and seamless. And I think that's one of the things that I appreciate. Uh, and when she even talks about making your own art, uh, the 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 art behind her because I, I can see you also seeing it at home. She did that. Uh, you can you can see I'm a bit of a, a stalker, right? Like I, I follow <laughs> guests that we have on, and I follow the work of the guests that we have on the show. So she did what's literally behind her right now, and so she really does practice what she preaches. And I think the really big thing that uh, Lisa Nola that you shared this evening is having fun, right? Because at the end, it's not your job. It's just a great outlet for you to try out something new um, and to be as creative as you possibly can. So you also just want to be having fun along the way. Before we wrap up our conversation, I want to take the last few comments that we're seeing on our Facebook page. I'm loving, loving, loving them. Unumvula Mutuneng, saying Zama Nekronole, ladies, you are absolutely amazing. Oh, I get it. Beauty with brains, hashtag women in property. And that's exactly what we're doing this month, right? Making sure we only speak with women because we know that we've got the expertise to talk all things property. Um, not just, you know, throughout the month. We could probably do it the whole year if we wanted to, but we're, we're not going to leave the force out. Uh, and that's exactly what we wanted to do this um, this this Women's Month. And Umtkunu Mo saying, you ladies inspire me. I also have a dream of getting into property one day, and it's so nice to see Black queens in property. I'm inspired. Thank you very much there, Umtkunu. And those are some of the great comments that we are seeing. Uh, Mata Shingange, one of our top fan gang members, saying would love to experiment with with personalized wallpaper. Mother, check out uh, Lisa Onola's page. Uh, that's that's all I'll say because she's done that. She's done amazing, um, you know, features on her bedroom wall, which looks stunning. Uh, and you're definitely going to get great tips from her on how to do that better. Yan Mutabuli, I also see you watching us there on our Facebook page. And I think to wrap up this evening, and I see that unfortunately Umpo did not, Karab Umpo did not claim uh, the 1,500 rands. So it seems we're going to have a roll over tomorrow uh, and I hope whoever wins tomorrow is going to be watching us live so that they can claim their prize. Uh, Nola, before I let you go this evening any final tips for our viewers at home when it comes to all things DIY and making it as fun and you know not intimidating as much as possible for them? I think the best thing is to have fun and really enjoy it and especially when it comes to trends it's do something that you love. Do something that you're going to enjoy. It's your space. It must suit you. And trends come and go. But, I mean, your space will always be your space. So always make stuff that you enjoy. And, I mean, also safety first, especially when working with power tools. 
So if ever you haven't worked with a drill before, get somebody to help you the first time. But I mean, enjoy it. And I mean, it's, it's fun. Once it catches you, the bug, it's caught you. Yeah, no, definitely. I think once the bug is caught you, like Minzo was saying, you go crazy with the drill. You, you want to, the first time, you definitely want somebody who can help you. Uh, Umenzu was saying earlier that he's, you know, putting up the curtain rail. The thing with that is when you're short like myself, you want to make sure you're the right height and you're drilling in and not drilling at an angle. Because uh, once you put those curtains up and, it, you know, gravity will do what gravity does, it can easily fall. So little things like that, uh, getting somebody to help you the first time, watching the Sean Oldis channel on YouTube will also be able to give you those great tips and how to you know best navigate that as much as possible. Well, that's it from us this evening on the Private Property Podcast with myself, Lisa Honolo. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this evening. It's always such a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. And that is Ulfo Nolo Kumalo, who is the founder and owner at LK Homes. We have shared their details down here below. So check it out if you want some inspiration of you know, projects that you can tackle at home, whether you're a first timer or, of course, slightly more seasoned. Uh, like some of you at home. And to wrap up, I see Vanessa Nell saying, thank you, Zama and Horonolo. You are both super amazing. We've got Selene uh, Pillay saying, someone please rub some luck on me. And I'm sure that's uh, <laughs> for the money so that if she wins, uh, she's obviously going to be watching us live and can claim that money. And uh, Unumvula saying, do what you love or like. And that's the big tip that Lou Horonolo has also shared, that you really want to try out something that, Firstly, you're just going to enjoy and, of course, have fun. Uh, don't be afraid to fail. It's okay if, it's, if, if the first project is a bit of a flop. It's fine. Uh, that's how you are going to learn. Well, that's it from myself, Zamato Mwakumalo, this evening on the Private Property Podcast. I'll be back on your screens on Friday. Uh, and I actually need to say why I, I am not on the show on Thursdays because I see, uh, you know, a few of you have asked, you know, the team knows why I can't do the show on Thursdays for the next few Thursdays. Many of you know, I, I also study property uh, and Thursdays there's literally a live class uh, you know, a, a, a law class that I do so law for property development and management uh, that I have to attend on Thursdays it's live we must put on our cameras we're engaging we're looking at you know case laws um, and the law around property development so if anything it's a great way for me to also uh, be able to be of assistance right here on the show so that is why on Thursdays I unfortunately won't be on your screens for the next few Thursdays uh, until this particular course is over. So all the other ones we're able to do virtually and it doesn't disturb the show, but this particular one is the one that, you know, we must go live, but it's fine. It's low, it's slightly different. So we also just need to learn as best as possible. Well, I'll be back on Friday. Tomorrow you're going to be the capable hands uh, of uh, Uheti, who is an entrepreneur. And I know that if you watch SC's show, you would have also uh, seen her on SC's show. Her husband has also been on SC's show. So that's something that you can look forward to tomorrow. Well. It's a Thursday, it's a Wednesday, so you can catch Esti Klassen at 8 p.m. with the uh, first time home buyers show. Until then, hoping you're staying home and staying safe.